A penalty shot was the difference in Game 4. Johnny Gaudreau's game winner helps even this first round series. Two wins apiece as the scene shifts back to Calgary in the Scotiabank Saddle Dome for Game 5 tonight. Well, what started as a best of seven is now down to a best of three as we welcome you into game day here from the Scotiabank Saddledome. The Calgary Flames earned home ice advantage back for the final three games or at least potential for three games in this best of seven series now tied at two wins apiece. They'll look to take advantage of that tonight in game number five, a pivotal one in this first round series between the Calgary Flames and Dallas Stars. As for tonight, well, they got it evened up thanks to four goals finally breaking through offensively in Dallas and now we'll look to try to carry that into game five tonight for the Calgary Flames. Still the lowest scoring series though in the Stanley Cup playoffs so far. Just 14 goals, seven goals for each team and that includes a few empty netters. Both teams finally got their second power play goals of this series as well in game number four and yet it took about 50 some shots for the Calgary Flames in game number four. 54 was the final total. That's the largest total in a single game that didn't require overtime in that game four victory for the Flames. They've also allowed the fewest shots on average here through so far four games of the Stanley Cup playoffs. So they got it back to even but the work is still far from over, and it continues here tonight. They want a similar effort as what they saw on Monday in Dallas. He's very intense with how he gets his message across and, and getting us, like I said, prepared to play. So, um, you know, he's, he's done it all year with us, and I think that's what's made us a good team this year is, is having good starts. So it's going to be big here tonight with uh, it being a tied series, and it's going to be a lot of fun with, uh, with the Sea Red going the way uh, being excited as as they're going to be. Who to watch tonight, and it's two of the top D-men in the series. They've been involved physically as well. John Klingberg for the Stars, who has one assist in the series, played almost 25 minutes in Game 4. He also leads the Stars, surprisingly, in penalty minutes through the first four games with 26. Some of those have come head-to-head -head with this guy, Rasmus Anderson, who scored the game's opening goal on Monday, his first of the series and fifth career playoff goal. He's averaged just under 20 minutes a night despite only playing the first period of game number one. Both defenders will be in the spotlight once again for the Stars and Flames. In terms of the lineup, well, as you can expect, and as we've come to know from head coach Daryl Sutter, no hints or indications in terms of potential lineup changes tonight. We will expect Jacob Markstrom to go head-to-head -head with Jake Ottinger once again. On the other side, Stars are expected to make some changes. Head coach Rick Bonus said so on the off day in between games four and five. So we'll wait and to see warm-up to see officially what both teams will go with. Either way, it's down to a best-of-three series starting tonight with Game 5, 7.30 puck drop from the Scotiabank Saddledome.